Pakistan will be my son. My team. My team. Okay, okay. Afrovision, what's up? What's up? Obviously, I've been making music for a while now since I was like 14, but then, you know, them ones when you, you only show it to your boys. So, I, was, I got tired of that. So, I, said, okay, I, I just actually want to see what people think about music, innit? But yeah, obviously, Afrovision, my name is Jay Crims. You know me as Jay. Jay, Jay, Jay. Hey, 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 what are you saying? It's cringe, you know what I'm saying? We're out here, MG shit, you know what I'm saying? We're going to the top, nowhere else, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never going down, you know what I'm saying? I'm 20, 25 years old, you know what I'm saying? But 28, to me, age is just a number, you know? I was always into music, no lie. I was not recording, but I was singing other people's songs. I was always listening to music, and I was singing other people's songs. I was basically like a human jukebox. I'm singing other people's songs word for word, word for word, word for word. One day when I was in boarding school, one of my boys, big game, he came to me. He must have heard about me from some of the older students. And he came to see me and, then, and I rapped some songs to him. And then he was like, oh shit, why don't you make your own songs? I was like, oh cool, fuck it, let me try it. And then he took me to my first studio. I did my first tune. And then I know that, bruh, it was, it was a no brainer from there. I loved it. Yeah. My creative process is weird because like I could hear a beat and I could just go in the booth straight away and just record every five minute, five, ten minutes, I'm done. Do you know what I mean? That's cause the beat has spoken to me and like it's given me the direction already. Some songs are harder. I'm not gonna say harder, but like it takes longer, like I will freestyle over the beat, like a melody, or mumble a melody over the whole song. Like I make sure I always do the whole song because you never know like in it so one of the melodies could end up being the chorus and then i could i just listen to it over and over again i say on my way to work or while i'm doing something while i'm eating i'm listening to it over and over and over again and i'm just like forming the lyrics in my head while i'm doing that so by the time i get to the studio i already have like let's say half of the lyrics done or have the chorus done anything i need to add i can just add it there it's a weird process but you know it never it never always used to be like that i used to always write Always used to write my songs, just have to write it down, you know what I mean? But then I realized that because I grew up influenced by American music so much, when I write my music, I write it in the American accent. And obviously, I'm living in London right now. I wanted to start sounding in my music how I sound in real life. Hey, hey, Tony just passed me a pill and I got me some energy. Hey, 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 but hold up, wait, let me get into my element. The double cut and keep me level. Bump and down for me. The music I typically create is, I say, is emotional. Not in the sense of I'm an emotional person, but I just make music based off my emotions and how I feel at the time. If I'm in a good mood, I'm gonna make good music. If I'm in a bad mood, I'm gonna make like sad music. If I'm upset, I'm gonna make music that's gonna reflect that I'm upset. Even though I'm a songwriter and I try to make music people dance to and stuff all the time, but like I try to stay as, as authentic. And I just realized that when you're making music based on how you feel and your experiences and stuff like that, it just comes out a lot better because someone else will be able to relate to that. What is it like working with Crims? Well, I've known Crims for the better part of a year and a half and the come up has been real. He's been doing shows for a while and we just connected at my first studio. It was underneath a barber's and the journey just started from there. My set out weren't too good, but he believed in man and I believed in him. So yeah, his music is, is upbeat, it's, it's energy, it's good vibes. He always brings through the man them. And it's, it's music that I want to hear, innit? It's not negative, it's positive vibes. I'm happy you stuck with me. We've elevated. Now we're making sonically amazing sounding music. And I'm, I'm, I'm so looking forward to what he's got coming up in the future. Yo, 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 it's your boy, Brenz. You know it is power and be god but yeah man jay crims jay crims jay crims i feel like the first time i came across jay crims was through 
one of my friends in that secondary school and he introduced me to one of Jay's sounds. I remember like the first song that I've heard of Jay Crimson, I think it was Y'all Don't Know. When I first heard that, I was like, yo, this guy is hard. I think that's, I can't remember, I think it's at like 2000, probably way before 2013. And I heard Jay Crimson from there and then I had to message him like, yo, bro, like, I need to do a feature of you or remix, I don't know. So it's one of them ones, isn't it? So yeah, from then on we just carried on working with each other, man. Somehow we actually did. And who would have thought like, into this time we're still working with each other, we're still developing as artists and seeing his growth as an artist, yo, I'm just bare excited to be part of the journey, man. Like, no cap. In terms of like, as an artist, like he actually pushes me to where I need to be, man. And, like, he knows, even though it's stuff that I don't see for myself, he makes me see, like, yo, how I can be better. How you should do this, you should do that. You know, little things like that. Some people don't do that. They just let you just do your thing, cool. Like he's the type of person that like, he always makes sure that I'm always on point type of thing, innit? So that's one thing I respect about him as an artist. And especially his artist image, his everything. He's got like the whole brand catalogue, innit? As an artist, I don't see anyone in the UK that can match his style. That's 100. And his freestyle ability, his, how he does his lyrics, you know what I'm saying? So, so Jay Karins is active, man. Therefore, A and G for life. That's how it is, man. What's next for Crims is the only way is up, fam. Do you know what I mean? We're going up. 2020 was a brazy year. There's a lot of self reflection that happened. And 2021, I came out a butterfly, fam. You know what I mean? Came out my cocoon. I'm flying now, fam. I was coloured up. Do you know what I mean? I'm coloured. No 6 9 shit, but I'm coloured up, fam. And the only way is up for me and all of my name NG shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going all the way. It's Crims. Woo! You know I don't give a Shit. I start hating the X, start moving left. I'm